Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody's doing blessed and blessed and highly favored. Uh, to all the people, the newbies as well as my family, my A1 since day one, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. Um, if you, I would love to get a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Um, even if it's about the positive feedback to the content of my video. If you feel like you vibe with the video and you feel like you want to vibe enough to share it with somebody else, please go ahead and do so. It's greatly appreciated. The video I'm about to do today is called The Gift of choice uh pain to prosper i mean pain to purpose purpose to prosper struggle to strength to salvation hardship to hustle to heroism um and this is true you know we go through a lot of pain and and trying to understand why is it taking place why does it always constantly have to reroute it's always coming to me it seems like you gravitate more towards that than a lot of joy into your life or a lot of times the blessings of joy comes in, but it, it always be overshadowed with the pain that has constantly taken place to your life to where it seems like happiness uh, is always short lived. And you know what certain things feel like, and you know, just thinking to yourself, you know, because a lot of times with us as empath, we, um, we always talk to ourselves about, you know, hey, if I can be able to help anybody, just know what I felt like I've gone through. I never want anybody else to feel that way. You know, um, it, it's just the situation that I've gone through was very unbearable for me. And I never want, if I know if I can help and assist somebody with that situation, I want to be able to do that because I know what that felt like. You know, when I first started, I tell people all the time, when I first started, I didn't know who I can trust with my situation. You know, it was like a lot of people dropped out of my life like flies. You know, and it was just like the things that I was find out myself it, it, it made me feel like I was losing it like is this really possible is this crazy and it led me towards being open about the different things that I've gone through and not even able to fathom how many people replied back to me telling me you know I thought I was the only one that felt like that or it made me feel like I'm not crazy anymore or I'm so glad I'm not alone I got those and I was not when I said I was taken aback you know by that I did not know that pain was going to lead to this purpose you know finding out more about yourself you're going through your highs your lows your downs your, you know your downs your lows lows you know your happiness your sadness your anger your rage you know all those different things is leading you towards that purpose because you're you're allowing yourself to take that change within yourself uh, for that huge transformation things that you know is always seem as impossible you know you can go through something so treacherous so you know so dark and you're trying to understand how can any kind of beauty of love or positivity can come through that and it's like even you're going through those moments if you don't take that chance to really see what's under you know under the surface you really don't know what can what beautiful you know what can beautify what you have gone through and it holds a purpose to bring out something powerful you know you recognize some kind of magic within that and it's like oh as soon as i said that i got to chill jeez you know you're going through that surface and it's just like it's not easy to go through that because you're led on a purpose to start unfolding and it's just like you start to rip off a lot of bandages you know with that and you know, i mean you can have the worst scars of the scars and it's telling you rip off that bandage and it's time to heal you know when you're healing you you know you have to go through a reflection and it's just like an ointment and you can have one of them nasty scars too like ugh. you know I was like oh my god what happened it's like, did you fall or fall, fall on you? You know, it's like, well, you done got a big cut. And it's like, shoot, you look like you done got into a fight with Freddy Krueger and he won. Or you done hit the ugly stick and hit every branch down. What happened? You know, one of those type situations. And some kind of way within that, it got you into that renegade vibe. It's like, nothing ain't going to take me. Nothing's going to break me. You know, if it breaks me, it's breaking me the way to the core of finding my truth. You know, if it tears away, it's allowing me to find my truth within the bear of what it truly is. You know, you're being naked in it. You know, and a lot of times it's going, you, you going, being naked through it, through that time of trauma. And you're really trying to understand that, you know. And it, it's just like, when you're going through different things into your life we don't want you to place judgment on your life but just being honest you know like i've been through a lot of stuff you know my radio is not tuned up half of the time my elevator don't go to the 13th floor you know but i'm allowing myself to make it work with it you know it's like work with it. people used to laugh and be like ross your 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 radio ain't tuned up <laughs> like nah it's like shh, shh. <laughs> you know it's like no you probably get a hit 
you know, move around the antenna a little bit, you'd be able to get some kind of voice out there. And it'd be singing for me, but <laughs> you know, and then go away. You know, it'd be one of those little moments. And it's just like you're going through those different things, and it makes you show you, which makes you and show you how prosperous you can truly be if you allow yourself to be consistent with yourself. Try to use every battle to give you a reason. To catapult towards something different you know you're going through that you know and it's just like right now the resistance of the good the old and the and the new is going through this right now <laughs> you know so it, it's trying to you know it's showing you where you can be prosperous at because you're going through these moments and going through these moments is is like it's not easy you know it, it can be you know like if you watch any of those videos and it's sometimes i can't even watch it when i see what's going on it's like when you know those adrenaline junkies and you see how they, they it could be like in honduras somewhere or peru and you got those little skinny rolls like this and you got these big bus of people i'm like oh hell no nah, let me off i'll walk <laughs> i'm like no i'll walk but you got all these bags that's all right i'll leave something behind you ain't about to leave me behind i don't seen too many that i don't watch too many final destination movies and i already know this ain't gonna end well you you know and you going through all those different things and it's really showing you you went from pain to your purpose your purpose done led you led, led you to lay you <laughs> you know to a solid foundation you've been laying that mess and it's you know because before it was all rocky it was on projection it was on fear it was on lies it was on deceit you know whatever you were going through that you know it wasn't serving you the right way you know and you're going through all those different things into your life and and it's making your wrongs right. You create, you creating a lot of different things. Is clearing your slate and clearing your slate. Oh Jesus, it'll take you all the way through it. And you're like, oh child, you know, it'll be one of those moments you really, really going through it. And it really wants you to be able to take that, you know, and through your pros, you know, through your prosperity, you see the struggle that you have gone through. Your struggle on trying to stay positive through negative circumstances. The pro, you know, the the consistency of you trying to stay strong through constant weak moments. Um and you're gaining your strength through different times of your moment of weakness. You know, and I use that a lot. You know, um and I always tell people the most strongest person is going to actually admit to you when they have a weak moment. I, you know, I'm doing a lot. People are like, girl, you strong. Shoot, I ain't like that. You know, so I don't got that good gorilla glue to keep that Power Ranger shield on. That mess fall off time. I'm like, eh, I don't know what the hell I'm doing at times. You know, I'm trying to find myself out of paper bag. And it's just like, I can't find my way out. Okay. You know, it's like one of those moments. And it, it's just like going, you, you know, you doing that. And when you're finding out your strength through your weak moments and you get there and you finally understand you can look back. And, and you know and take that smile take that tear it was just like when I watched this video the other day I don't know what that filter is if somebody watched this video and understand what filter that was but when I say I saw that video and almost took me out I ain't gonna share that because that was kind of wrong but it was just the fact that they, they were like you put your face on there and it's like a filter to say what you look like and this girl was she was seeing this woman and I ain't gonna say what she looked like but you know I'm like I can't judge nobody not everybody look like everybody else but you know, it is what it is. You know, you're always beautiful inside and out. It's just up to you to see that. But it was like the filter that came up and the girl was just sitting there. And you see her nose being red. And you see that one teardrop just drop out of her eye before she busted out laughing. And I said, that took me out. I was like, oh, hell no. You know, and then the one girl, she looked up and I think it made her look like a possum or something like that. She's like, no. Do I really look like that? Oh, damn, I do look like that. He'll snatch some glasses off and just hit her reality like that. And it's just like, you know, your strength, your struggle, your salvation will always show you parts of yourself you did not know was there. That was just the sum of the story. Because there'll be some time I'll be looking too, face all red, ready to cry, and then bust out laughing like, can you see this shit? You know, I'll really just be going. And it, it's just going through that. And it shows you where, where your strength is that led you to salvation. But then you go through the hardships. You've seen your hardships through your struggle, through your pain that you have really reflected on. The hardships that, you know, things didn't come easy for you. You know, there have been different times that I've seen stuff in my life where I, I worked at a short period of time. And I, I mean, I really went in for it and I end up. You know, I end up like catching it right there. I end up getting that blessing right there, but then it was in and out. But then it just seemed like other stuff that you know I'm facing now. It, it just, it's just there, you know. And it showed me where my hardships really lay at because it's just like when I see the stuff that I've gone through, I'm like, man, 
You know, you, you have to, when you look at different situations you're in, it's not just mine, but it's a lot of things where you can really look at your life and say, do you think just every, anybody can really overcome the stuff that you face? Or do you really feel like, you know, you even though it may not have ended right for you the way you did, but it ended better than you ever imagined, you know? Because there's a lot of things that's happened in our lives that people, you can tell your life story to and you leave them all like, Man, you got to be lying. You know, because, we, you know, with us being hey, Okas, you can tell your life story and people be looking like, this is a joke, right? You really tell me you went through some stuff, you know, and I thought my stuff hit deep with me. And then I started hearing half of y'all's story and I'm like, dang, I see I ain't the only one. This run through the dang on family, like this tribal stuff ain't no joke, you know. And then people like wonder why folks be saying, oh, it's the, um... You, you know, you're the lone wolf or whatever. You know, you, you always by yourself. You you know, you, you work better by yourself. And you're going through that. And it created a hustle for you to not stop. You know, because a lot of times, like I said before, you have to even psych your own self out. You know, you have to you have to lie to yourself until you can be able to find that truth. You know, it's like, I forgive up. I'm tired. I'm tired of this situation. Just go ahead and let them do this. Just go ahead and let them have that. And just go ahead. And then it's just like, you remember what that such and such and such did that day? You know, ego and, and, and that, you know, that, that pride start kicking in on you. You know, and it's psychologically tricking you. It'd be tricking, tricking to trick trick you know on you and just like you remember what that person said to you the other day you ought to see that you don't touch the nerve because it's just like the more you stay open to your gift the more you start pissing people off and the more you start pissing people off the more you start triggering stuff that they don't you you walking in your truth and it disturb a lot of lies for some folks and that really make them mad you know because you hustling for yourself you your own representation you know you be quick like don't play with me you better pray with me don't play with me uh, you know it's like i'm half hood half holy don't do that <laughs> you know like you don't want to walk on in between that limbo man you mm -mm. you don't want to see the truth out of that but then you're finding that hustle within yourself you you know it, it's just like there'll be many a days you want to walk away from that stuff because it's like man i don't even want to touch that but then you'll start noticing, you know how many daggone people that wouldn't even get on that road. They took an Uber and went the opposite way. You got to go to, nah, bro, I'm ready to go back home. <laughs> it's like, I seen where that mess was going. I don't like that. I'm going to go back home. I'll pay you. I'll give you a tip for that. I know, I, I'm sorry I brought you about, uh, far out here, but I'm going to go ahead and give you a good tip. Just take me back to the house. You know, and it'll be one of those moments, and you'll see that you have touched, you have really, I'm in the South, you have touched a lot of truth in your life that you didn't know that was amidst all them lies that we told ourselves, all them lies that we were programmed to believe for so long in our lives about how our family was brought up, how they were taught up, how they seen, wanted us to see the same time. And then when we rerouted that, and it was just like, they ain't what I'm, I'm being told. You lied to me this whole time of my life make me want to slap somebody because I've been living through a lot this whole time you know and they want to really go through that and it's just like it, it you really understood what was going on when you unlearned a lot of things that you thought was true you know you found that truth within yourself and it's just like it, it created that hustle and then it, it was just because we always look for somebody to save us we always you know I'm trying to find the ladder salvation of the soul you know this song just took up in my head when i felt like that but you know i, I remember anytime i used to hear that song that mess used to make me cry and, you know and it's good you know a lot of people well, well we are trying to find a salvation of the soul you keep climbing that ladder you know and it's just like you, you know stakes are high you got to keep on climbing you know and keep on going and then you become your own personal hero within yourself because you look for somebody to save you and it redirects you right to the mirror you're going to be that one. That was the gift of choice. You chose to be selective about seeing what the past has taught you, learning the lessons from everything that has taken place in your life. They redirect you towards different things that you may not have been able to digest then, and you just took some water and swallowed it down very easily. <laughs> you know, and just allowed yourself to really keep going. So keep going. You know, even. Through those gifts of choice, you don't always have to experience something that's going to be worth meaningful. Even though it may not feel that way now, 
it, it can mean so much more later on in life if you decide not to give up. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of the video, y'all. Like I said, I may be, I may be not. It just depends on how I feel. Because it's like I said, I love this format, but it takes forever for the videos to come out. So I'm going to try my best to be able to do it. If not, um, if this comes out before that time, um, I'll go ahead and put a post out at least about 30 minutes to an hour before I do have it. I may have it. I don't know. Um, but you'll know if I do or not. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give a post notification. Shout out to Coco Riley. Much love to you and commit. Um, uh, Culture uh, Tarot. Much love to you. Mighty Robs and Angel Elizabeth. Much love to you. And um, Wildflowers as well. If you're new to the channel, you know. Drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. I keep forgetting. I've forgotten the last two videos that I put. I'll leave my contact information in the description box below. It's all about networking. Um, usually a lot of people just tell me what, what issues they have. They really don't feel comfortable with uh, talking about that throughout the public on the tube of you, which I truly understand. So people, I, I call it like Empath 101, you know, uh, Hey Oka Social Worker. It's one of those things just to give you a deeper understanding about your purpose. And, you know, a lot of times people share different things with me and ask me you know for my input on it and I you know I try my best to be able to answer it through my experience or you know whatever the folks up in the upper room be trying to tell me um so whatever we speak on is confidential and I'll help you out the best way I can so I hope you have a blessed weekend please be safe whatever you are working on in your manis know it's going to be extreme for you it's about to be lit and so it's going to be coming in sooner than you expected it's going to be way more than you anticipated so you know keep on going don't give up if you got to take a pause take a pause for that cause it's okay but jump back stronger than you ever did before you got that bounce back keep on believing that you know you were chosen for you chosen you follow beat of your own drum when everybody chose to follow <laughs> you know like <laughs> but anyways i hope you have a blessed weekend please be safe and responsible for everything you do like I said, I may or I may not have, uh, you know, um, Hey Oka Chat at 7.45. Depends on how I feel. So, um, be blessed. Stay less stressed. You know, and don't be all up in that mess. <laughs> You'll see me in my next video. Much love to you. Peace.